here. Okay, so there's my new sink with the new side splash, and that's the big black backsplash, extra backsplash. See, the sink has one built in, and then I made another one because I messed up, made the cabinet too deep when I made that new cabinet. Rather than cut it, and it was all completely finished, and I had finished every inch of it front, back, underneath, because I didn't want water to ruin it. Like what? That's what happened to the last one. I built these originally about 98 or 99. So, uh, this splash actually came with the sink, but I had to, of course, it was the length of the sink, and you have to cut it off, because it can go right or left, and it already had that nice radius to fit with the sink. So I had to cut it off, and then I had to put a new finish, match, try to match the finish, original finish with new gel coat I sprayed just the end of it there and uh, so I got it in got it caught and it's gonna shrink up a little bit so I'm gonna have to go back and hit it again that's the one this right here this bead I had done that a month, well probably a month ago now and it shrunk up a little I just filled it in this one shrunk just a little but I'm it's all right I'm not gonna hit that again like on that top one it's uh, water doesn't get that high a lot of it anyway I get more on the side than anywhere, and uh, that also covers where this cab. This cabinet has been refinished, just like up so high, and the doors were redone. But uh, we didn't take this one out. I took. I rebuilt the bottom one, uh, the vanity, and I refaced this one and kept the same doors. I can't get back far enough. They usually stand outside the bathroom. I'm gonna get over here. I usually stand outside the bathroom and shoot from the other way, but there's a TV going and everything in the house now, so it would just make a bunch of noise. So let me see what I can do here. Not much. So there's the, you know, there's the um, little bottom blend, and they're separated because they're too big. It's too big to get through the house through the doors. Top one, I just refinished the doors. I'd, actually, the refinishing I did part of it. My brother finished it for me because my health got down, and I never, never was able to finish it. I was gonna take this top one out and completely redo that too, but I didn't get to. But this one, this vanity is completely new, rebuilt. The door is the only thing I reused. And uh, the uh, and I built them originally in about ninety nine, eight ninety nine. And the sink's new, you know, just bought that. Uh, that tall backsplash was a scrap uh, that I got from a guy that used to do some work on new houses and stuff. There's some scraps laying around. And they just laid around here for 10 years. And I was actually going to put a left splash, use it to make a left splash, and I never got that done to the old sink because it didn't have any splashes whatsoever. But this one came with a, a left or a right, whichever way you needed it splash, but you have to cut it off. So... Anyway, I learned how to do gel coat, and it matches pretty good, and it's not bad. I've never done that before. I've sprayed, you know, finish like these cabinets. Well, yeah, did I spray them? No, I didn't spray them this time. I did the first time. I actually brushed it. This, I used this stuff. It used to be called Flecto Verithane. It's called, uh, they just call it Verithane now, and it's owned by rust -Oleum now. It used to be its own brand, Flecto Verithane. But it brushes really good. It's actually made for brushing, and I like the shiny. It's it's uh, it's white oak, and there's no stain, and it, this is high gloss. They use it on boats, and I like the shiny high gloss nowadays. I used to like satin, but uh, anyway, we're actually basically done. If you see that mirror, that's old, and it need, we need to get a new one. I always wanted to build one of those, but I haven't ever done it. I don't guess I will since I have trouble finishing what I've done so far. So, but um, if I open that door, then you can kind of see some of the little dark spots on that top corner and the different discoloration. I sanded from through in some places, and then you can see the different colors. So I made sure I didn't do that on the outside of it anywhere. But. Uh, There we go, finally, finally. Let that dry and then I'll probably come back and fill in. I think this right in here will probably shrink under a pretty little, good amount. So I'll do another bead of caulk in there. And other than that, I think
think it could be all right. Right there where I, I tried to cover it up, but it was really hard. Cover up where I actually sent hand, hand sent it with 400 grit, but I went through the finish all the way through to the, the little spot there. When it be on the one that showed the bottom one, I didn't do that on. Anywhere else, I didn't do that. There's my, I don't know if you can see it in this light, and that's the whole point. But that, there's a line there. I can almost see it. There's my magnifying glass. The line there just makes it too. You can almost kind of see it, I think. But uh, you can see that dark spot. That's where I, I, every time I. Yeah, that looks crappy. Uh, you, I don't see as good as I used to, so. You know, that's just the trick. I mean, what else are you going to do? Put a little white caulk on there to try to cover that up. I don't want water soaking into it at all. I even sprayed the back side of that so that if water did get behind there, the caulking got old and water got behind there, it wouldn't uh, soak into that culture marble. Because it's really porous stuff. But the wood's more, actually the biggest problem. That's what got ruined last time. The whole vanity got ruined, and so did uh, the whole bottom side of this. I had to take it off. You can't see that. You can just see the trim between the cabinets. But I had to take that side off. And I went ahead and just made a whole new face frame for it. And uh, that's called the face frame. That part there. And um, the doors. I used to make doors like this in when I worked in the cabinet shop. But I don't have the tools to do that. I, bought, I had a, a guy I knew that worked in a cabinet shop made them for me. And everything else I made. So anyway, and that originally these doors were made back in '98, '99, but I, they've been refinished now, though. So same, you know, exact finish and color and everything, because I liked it.